sitting here at Vino Paradiso at Circular Key in Sydney and I've just bumped into Julian Todd from Back Vintage and, uh, and Julian it's really good to see you, your business mm -hmm. has been going now 12 years, Yes. but Back Vintage I'm just keen to find out a little bit more about it, how it began and where you're going to take the company. Oh, we, we started as we said 12 years ago um, essentially trading the bulk market, um, I've built up a, a very loyal client base over the years through um, effectively taking the cellar door to the client. Mm -hmm. um, we're Sydney based. So how do you take a cellar door to a client? What, what's, what techniques are you using to do that? Um, I've, I've uh, um, relied on my own clients, uh, my own friends for starters, mm -hmm. um, some of the, the private schools around Sydney. Um, we've made them offers uh, in terms of sponsorship and so on. Mm -hmm. I'm currently the, uh, the sponsor for the Sydney Youth Orchestra. Um, mm -hmm. In, so you've got a big community base, big community base. supporting, and, and tell me about there's a bit of IT behind all this too. Julie. Yeah, we're, where we're, does that cut in? Well, we're totally e-based, mm -hmm. uh, e-commerce based. Yeah, um, that would have been pretty innovative back in 2003. It, it, and and to a degree, it still is, mm -hmm. in that we don't sell um, conventionally. We sell direct to the consumer, and we've mm -hmm. always wanted to do that. So so when you okay, so you're selling direct to consumers, and you're you're buying directly from producers, or do you have your own facility? How does the production end of it work for you? Um, we uh, essentially buy fruit uh, from uh, uh, regions throughout Australia. The focus mm -hmm. has always been premium regions. Yep. Um, and we, uh, we buy bulk wine, um, we have our own barrels, and we outsource the use of um, wineries facilities. Okay, so you're an outsource model, and, and who's sort of uh, responsible and, 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 and sort of overseeing this production for you? Who's... Well from day one we've had Nick Bully, Australia's third master of wine, yeah. and Nick has one of the best palates in the country. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, go along with that. that uh, yep. And, and um, he's enormously knowledgeable, yes. and, uh, and unless Nick says this bulk wine or the fruit is good, we actually don't touch it. Um, and and, and the, the fortune behind that, behind that, we review you know, numerous wines throughout the year and very few wines actually get through the gate. Okay, so in other words, if someone sort of wanting to deal with back vintage in a commercial sense, you've got this real guarantee because I, I have judged wine and tasted wine with Nick for many a year mm. and I've got a lot of time for him and his palate and as you say, his knowledge. So there's a great guarantee then for, for consumers. Mm. And also you've got this online platform, you're direct, so there's, they're effectively a margin or two being taken out of the deal here. Yes. So you're able probably then to offer consumers a pretty uh, irresistible offer from time to time. Absolutely. I mean, our focus has always been good quality and good value. Yeah. Um, and not only backing up Nick and his palate, uh, We've had Mike Farmer as right. our winemaker, yeah. and, and Mike has two uh, Jimmy Watsons to his name. Yeah. He's the former senior red winemaker for Penfolds yeah. and South. He knows his stuff. Absolutely. Great winemaker. And, and uh, you know, I've, we, we bottled some um, Kunawara Cabernet recently, yeah. and the, uh, the, uh, the juice came up from, from the Kunawara. We did the blending in, uh, in McLaren Vale. It was bottled up at Anguston, <laughs> and I'm selling it on the net out of a small Sydney office. So that's all pretty, pretty well travelled, but, uh, but hey, that's, that's the way it is. Well, we, that, that's nimble. Well, it's nimble, um, and, and uh, we, we, we've got clients all throughout Australia. Yeah. Um, in the very early days, we had a very, very lucky break yeah. um, in that uh, um, the Margaret of Chardonnay we had was considered good enough to go into Qantas business class. Fantastic. Um, and, uh, and that really got the business up and running. That's it. Now you've got a couple of wines down here, so let's, yep. let's talk about these as, as examples of what you're doing with Back Vintage. Yeah, I suppose um, we've, we've, we saw some, some Chardonnay and Pinot from the high country uh, in Bright in northern Victoria. So it's cool climate. Mm -hmm. This wine's got a lovely um, uh, acid backbone, mm -hmm. but it's got some lovely green, um, crisp green apple going through it as oh, well. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and and uh, then on top of that, we sourced some, uh, some fruit from uh, either side of Tananda, mm -hmm. did the blending, um, and, and you know, this is, as you can tell, understated, simple packaging. Mm. Uh, and then the, the prize of all, you can see there, we have Nick's uh, signature endorsement on the bottle. There, there you go, so it's endorsed um, by Nick himself. So for, certainly for the consumer, mm. we've got a wine that's good value mm. and presents well. Julian, that's fabulous. I wish you well for the next 12 years in your business. It's been you. a delight to talk to you and I wish you all the best with Back Vintage. Thank you so much. Cheers.